Hello, I am Adrian of Barrows and Whites, and this is my craft room floor. I have been slow to edit videos lately, so I thought I'd give you all an update as to what I'm working on. And I got in a fabric order, so we'll also open that up and talk about the projects I have planned for this box. I feel like I rushed that intro. Basically, there are a lot of things that I'm working on behind the scenes and I'm not the best at keeping you updated on Instagram or the website. I'm one of those people who just kind of works on a thing until it's done and then I shove it out into the world. So there's been some uh, pretty big gaps between videos on this channel. So I thought I'd just give you some updates on all of the things that I'm working on to post here. I don't have an ETA on when these videos will come out. This is a hobby and I work a full-time job and I'm currently earning my master's degree. So time is a difficult thing to manage, but hopefully some of these will be coming out fairly soon. Just an FYI for those of you who are watching this, this video may not stay up on the channel indefinitely. It may come down once some of these projects start appearing on the channel. So just letting you know if you try to go back to watch it and it's not there, it'll be up for a while. I don't anticipate taking it down very soon, but you won't need this update in a year from now or whatever. So I have my tablet with my notes over here on a chair. So if you see me looking over there, also I'm filming with my phone. I haven't filmed with my phone in ages, so I may not be looking at the lens all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's just easier for this kind of update rather than setting up the camera. Coming soon, coming soon, soon there will be two videos about making Geralt's shirt from The Witcher. One will be the actual making of the shirt and I just filmed the reveal for that yesterday. So editing should commence on that soon. And the second video will be sort of a behind the scenes making of because I ended up making props for the reveal. So I know I always like to see how people make their props and stuff for videos or cosplay or whatever, so I figured I'd share that with you as well. So that's coming soon. Uh, another thing that's coming soon is I finished a patchwork 18th century shirt. I think I already have the matter dyed. Hang on, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> because I don't remember what videos are on my channel. Okay, I do already have on this channel sewing an 18th century silk shirt that I dyed with matter root. Let me get, no, don't do that. Get, get... no, stop. Athena. I'm doing so well. So I do already have that video on the channel. It is a very similar process. I'm not sure if there will be voiceover on this or just music vibes to the sewing of this shirt, but I think it's interesting to see different types of constructions or how people use materials differently. Um, this is a patchwork of basically linen, not quite fat quarters, but a similar sized cut of fabric that I used in natural dyeing experiments. I wanted to do something with them. I really love wearing those 18th century shirts. They're super comfortable to just hang out in. So I made one of those. Uh, I have potentially something else I'm making to go with that shirt. We'll see how that goes. So that video, don't know when that's gonna come out. Uh, I'm also working on, I'm currently editing a video to start a series of videos on this channel about processing a sheep fleece. Yes, um, the first video will be basically cleaning the fleece and 
doing sampling, spinning, and prep work to see what kind of yarns I want to make out of the fleece. But that that is actively being worked on, so that is likely to be the next video that you'll see on this channel. Longer term projects that I'm currently working on that should have videos sometime this year. The Medieval Tunic. I am weaving. I've just finished the third warp, which is, I label body one. So it's the length of two front body pieces plus some extra just in case. And I have one more warp to do, which is body two. The body warps are the longest warps out of the ones that I did. So they take the longest to weave. That's very exciting that I'm nearing the end of the weaving part of the tunic. I'm also working on ties and or garters for my knit hose for the medieval project so that I can get a video out about the hose and the ties and or garters. I will probably do both just to keep them from falling down. Actively working on that. I'm also actively working on the preparation of and spinning the fleece. I do not know when that video will get out to you. It may be next year. It's a very long process for me. I have to limit the amount of time I spend. Do, am I out of focus? Prepping and spinning the fleece is a very long process for me. I have to limit the amount of time I spend spinning and prepping the fleece to avoid repetitive stress injuries to my hands and wrists. It's not an everyday activity. I am hoping to build up to a little bit every day, but at the moment, that is not where I'm at. So it will take a while. This is a very big fleece. Just be aware. <laughs> Actively planning next projects. I've, like I said, just finished a couple of things. I've got my long-term ongoing things. I have a few shorter term projects that I'm actively planning on starting soon slash have started a little bit. Pirate shirt from, is the pattern up here? It is, ha ha. The shirt from this Simplicity Costumes pirate pattern from back in ye old Pirates of the Caribbean days. That's when that pattern was published. I am pulling out the pattern to work on the shirt, mostly because I keep thinking about Our Flag Means Death and I need to hop on, I say hop on that pirate bandwagon. You all have seen my pirate capsule wardrobe. I was already there. It's like I forget that my second wardrobe is a pirate wardrobe. Um, I also found, is it handy? No, it's up there. I also found on eBay a length of what they said was wool. I've done a burn test. It's at least partially acrylic because part of it melted. I'm thinking it's a cotton acrylic, not wool, which is why it was so cheap when I bought it. Um, but, I think I found enough yardage to actually do the sort of trousers from this pattern as well, just to give them a try. I mean, they don't look that hard. I mean, I haven't read the directions or anything, but it looks like they're a pretty loose fit because this is a simplicity costume. So might as well give it a go. I also have some dyeing projects coming up. Most of these will be a part of something that I'm making, but I think some of them are going to be just like, here's how you dye this with this type of videos. I don't know exactly. <laughs> I haven't actually sat down and made the list of what I'm going to be dyeing and when exactly. Did you turn on the car? I don't know what my dad's doing. He keeps walking through here. I have two definite dye baths that I want to do this summer. Both naturally dyed. Oh no, I have three. I have three dye baths that I want to do. One of them, 
Onion skin dye bath. The best of all the dye baths. One, because you don't need a mordant with onion skins. You just basically make a soup and throw some stuff in it. It's great. We have been saving onion skins in the kitchen for a while now, so I have a good amount of them. I want to get that done. I'll be doing this on both yarn and fabric, um, wool yarn, and I have a fabric that I'm not sure if it will dye, but I kind of want to see if it will. That's something I want to do. The one that's not on here is marigolds. I have a lot of dried marigolds up there that I've been growing in my garden for the past three years. Yes, because my matters are three years old this year. Three years. And I have some bare yarn that I want to dye green. So I will be demonstrating how you make green naturally with plant dyes. One of them being marigolds, hopefully. And then the last one is an indigo dye bath. The other two dye baths I could do at any point in the year, although if I'm making green, I want to be doing yellow first. With my current setup, I have to do while it's warm outside. I also find it works better when it's warm outside because there is some temperature regulation that you need to do with indigo dye baths that you don't necessarily have to do with other natural dyes. There's a lot more care involved in that. I also find that indigo dye baths are much more messy than other natural dye baths because indigo will dye basically anything, including your skin. An onion skin dye bath, if you get some onion skin dye on you, it's not gonna do much. I mean, maybe you'll be a little yellow, but indigo will turn you blue. Ah. <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> got interrupted there and I've lost track of what I was saying with the indigo dye bath, but I'm planning on dyeing the fabric for Thierry's shirt from Letter for the King and again that green yarn and probably a bunch of other stuff because of how indigo dye baths work. That's really it for upcoming projects. So let's open up this box and talk about these upcoming projects. Big box. This is from fabrics-store.com. If you follow Noelle of Costuming Drama, it's the store where you buy what she likes to call oop, diet pill linen uh, because of the way that their advertisements are designed. They look like really bad uh, diet pill. <laughs> <laughs> advertisements. It's pretty funny, actually. Also, we have a special guest who's decided to join us. This is Penny. She will probably not appear on camera because she does not like to be on camera. She really hates it. So, I bought a bunch of linens. So, we have a one yard cut of natural linen canvas. This is mostly just for interlining things like waistcoat fronts. I want to see how this works. I've used duck canvas before in vests, which worked out okay. I wanted to give this a shot and I think it was on sale, so. Or it was, there's a section on the website where you can buy pre-cuts that people have returned or exchanged or whatever. So I think this was one of those and they are heavily discounted. Then I have four yards of this beautiful green linen. This doesn't have a definite project, but I do want a shirt out of this fabric. Um, it's a beautiful color green. It's one of my favorite color greens. This camera's not 
the best because of my lighting situation, but it is gorgeous. Do you need to check this fabric? No? Okay. This dog is very nosy. She likes to know what people are buying. And I bought four yards of this fabric. This is in the beet red colorway. It's a little bit pinker than what I thought it would be. I do have a sample card of this color that was a little more sort of burgundy, but this will become Aragorn's red shirt. I am excited about having that readily available. And then these two cuts of linen were those pre-cuts that were heavily discounted because I have discovered that the shorts that were put away last year over the winter no longer fit me. So I have one pair of shorts, my pirate shorts that I'm wearing right now. So I used about two yards to make these pirate shorts. So I bought some two yard cuts of linen to make some more pirate shorts. One is in this gray color called asphalt. It's just a gray. And the other is in this sort of golden brown color called camel. Um, I am excited to make some more of these shorts. Uh, I wasn't planning on making a video, but if you are interested in a bit, who, somebody's playing music now. Everything is very chaotic. I have a video about making, what do I call them? The high seas pants and shorts over on my old channel, Freakish Lemon. But if you would like a new video on how to make those shorts, I can probably make it more of an instructional video. Um, let me know. I'll make one pair just to have another pair and then I'll do a uh, an instructional video if that's something that you are interested in. I also grabbed a couple of sample cards. If I can get into this envelope. So this is their, these are not going to be color accurate on screen probably because of the lighting situation. But I got color samples for agave and lagoon. I'm thinking that one or both of these might be a good match for either Frodo's shirt at the beginning of Fellowship or Aragorn's sort of green blue shirt that he wears in Fellowship. I'm not entirely sure. These are ones that I'm going to have to think about, but I figured I'd pick them up while I was ordering this other stuff just to have it in front of me to look over. Yeah, if you're interested in uh, the pirate shorts or the high seas pants um, video, let me know because I can do that one relatively quickly. Um, so you might see that pretty soon in the lineup if that's something you're interested in. And I think that's it. I think that's all I needed to talk to you guys about. That's what's upcoming on the channel. Those are the things that I'm working on. Don't have anything else to say. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. Penny, do you want to say goodbye to the camera? You mad? Did I trap you? Come here. Come here. Come here. There she is. There's my Penny girl. Ugh. There's my girl. Can you see yourself on the camera? Look at you. Oh, she's grumpy about it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy right now? Oh, thank you. Yeah, good enough. Good enough, dog approved. Dog approved fabric. That's enough. Turning this off now.